Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Jackal here, and welcome back to another coding tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to read and write files with Python. So you're going to need three things in order to follow along with this tutorial. You're going to need Python, pip, and an IDE. I will have all three of those things down in the description, so just click the links and you will find tutorials on how to download and install them. So once you have all three of those things, you are ready to start the tutorial. And by the way, guys, this is a series. I did a video earlier on the dhooks module, so sending data with Discord and Python. Uh, it's very cool stuff, but this is going to build on itself, and I am eventually going to work up to a keylogger tutorial, so if you are interested in that, go back and watch the previous video. I will have it in the description as well for you to watch. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do here is right click in the folder of your choice, select new, and then text document. You can call it whatever you want, but just make sure you change the file extension to .py and click yes. Now you're going to open it up in your IDE of choice. I am using Atom and I will have a link in the description on how to download and install it. The first thing we're going to do here is define a variable called file equals open and we are going to just do text.txt and the first thing we're going to be looking at here is a the, uh, the append uh, method of opening a file so there's two methods there's a and there's w this is append this is write and the difference between them is write will write whatever you say to the file but it will also delete anything else that was already in the file a will append text to the end of the file so uh, very very important difference there so make sure that you're using the right one for your circumstances so now to write data all we need to do is file dot write and then here is where we are going to put the data we want to write to the file so I'll just do this is a test writing and one thing that's important is we need to remember to do file.close otherwise this data could get corrupted or might not save now to run your python file go back to the folder where the python file is click on this bar on top here type cmd hit enter and then uh, type python and then code.py as you can see here we now have a file called text dot or test dot txt with the text this is a test writing inside now I'm going to give you an example of what I meant by the W so we're just gonna run this again and we should just get to of these so now we just have two and you see it added on to the end of the file last time so what I'm going to do now is change this to W and change the text to this is the text that is overwriting and now you'll see if we run this file again uh, you can see the text changed and it was not added to the end it overwrote everything else that was in the file now you just saw how to do this with by defining a variable file equals open and then whatever right well, that's not the most efficient way to do this. The most efficient way to do this would be using a with statement. And this essentially creates a session in which a file is open until the block ends. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. So we're going to do with.txt. We're still going to do the same convention with the append. And then as, as f. And what we've done here is we've opened the file and as F, what does that mean? Well, F, this could be file and 
if you remember last time, our variable was called file. As, and then whatever this is, will be your variable name. So file is our variable name. And the way we would write to it is within, you have to make sure that you add a colon at the end. And you have to make sure you indent after this colon, otherwise things will not work properly. Uh, so just make sure that you are doing file dot right here, and you are that you are not doing file dot right here. So file dot right, and then anything will do that. So now if we run the file. Notice here that we did not need to add a closing statement. And the reason for this is that these things automatically close. So we can do anything after, and you can see this won't be messed up. So yeah, as you can see, we didn't need to close at all, and nothing got messed up. Um, so that is one of the advantages to doing this, and it also just ensures that the data is written properly. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is reading from a file, and we are just going to use the same with statement we used before, with open test.txt, with r instead of w or a for read, that's pretty self-explanatory, and then as file again. Now instead of doing file.write, we are going to do file.read, but we need to store this because right now this is just being dumped into nothingness. So I can set this equal to text equals file.read, and then again without having to close, I can just print text. Now if we run the file, you can see this will be printed, and if I open up this test.txt, you can see here, it says this will be printed. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the read line function. Now, it's not really what you would expect, and I'll show you why in a second. So, I've just gone ahead and done with open our text dot, or that should be test, test.txt as uh, for reading. And now I'm going to do file.readline. And then I'm just, I'm just going to put in 1, and we'll see what happens. Oh, I forgot to print as well. And store. Remember, we got to store our text in a variable, so I'll just call it text. And then print text. And as you can see, we get a very strange result which is L. Now if we look at the file, test.txt, you will see that, well, line one is line one. Uh, but this is really just the number of characters it's going to print on that line. So if I do three, you can see, run this again, and we get lin. So read line and then parentheses and then however many characters you want it to read again quite strange but uh yeah i guess it's the way it is so the next thing we're going to be looking at here is read lines and essentially what this does is it reads every line in, te in a text file and then puts it puts the, uh, each line in an individual string in a list and i'll show you how this works so I'm going to define a variable called text list equals file dot read lines and then just empty parentheses and I'm going to print this text list and as you can see we have a list of just um well uh, the different lines so as you can see here each line has its line number stated 
and this has just created a list of those. Now, if we wanted to print it out in a uh, a better way, we would do uh, blank character dot join text list and print this out, and it just becomes the original text file. And so dot join the function you basically put whatever you want to join the characters with and then uh, this only works for lists but then you would put the list inside of the parentheses for dot join uh, so pretty simple stuff uh, it, like if I wanted to do dot join six then it puts a six in in front of every one so this would be if you if you were looking at it in a in a straight line it would be line one six line two so it's basically just putting a six uh... in between each of the values and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and have a nice day peace